First off, congratulations. I'm Albert Lawrence um, on behalf of the Television Academy. And this is just such a phenomenal night, especially to be celebrating you, Maria. So congratulations. Uh, directing for a limited series, unorthodox. Like you, you, you got this. <laughs> Yes. 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 Look at that celebration in the back right there. Now, look, um, I actually have some questions from fans on Twitter that have written on in. And so, again, in recognition of your category, directing for a limited series, movie or dramatic special. So the first tweet that we have from a fan is what was the perfect shot you felt captured on your nominated show? So what was the, the shot that you felt perfectly captured the essence of unorthodox so easy yeah yeah i wanted to say that yeah it's probably one of the first shots we did on our first shooting day and it's the shaving scene we were oh, yes. all tremendously nervous and yeah it happened on the first shooting day and uh uh, we filmed it with two cameras, Shira and I, we talked uh, a bit, great big deal before about it. And then uh, we sat through that shot, which took at least six minutes. And um, she went through all these emotional states. And uh, even, even the DOP was kind of shivering because we just had this one shot. <laughs> it was for real, so... Wow. Seeing it, I thought we have it all. Wow. Yeah, Maria, it's like, you know, with those shaving shots, you don't get a chance to do multiple takes, right? It's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we have another tweet. Um, someone wants to know, now that you've won, where are you going to keep your Emmy? I mean, just looking at the space that you're in right now, it seems like there's a lot of space for an Emmy there. <laughs> yeah, this is just this is the smaller room of my apartment. Yeah. I actually didn't want to show off too much. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, th thank you for, for sharing your humility with us. <laughs> yeah, this is one of these humble Berlin apartments. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> oh gosh! So, actually, it's a beautiful suite in a hotel where we are at. And we are celebrating oh, okay. uh, the inner circle of the team is present and we are in a beautiful hotel. And yeah, my apartment is a little less impressive. <laughs> I, will, I, I will probably put it uh, where I can see it, uh, on a oh, shelf. <laughs> This is wonderful. I mean, I, I think on a shelf where every time you pass it, you can remember how huge of a project that Unorthodox became. Because I have to imagine when you first accepted this project, when you first decided that this is what you were going to pour so much of your life into for the duration of the production, did you ever have a hint that like this might tap into the souls of viewers in such a powerful way? No. To be honest, mm. to be honest, last past months already have been incredible. And I think all of us, we had a sense of that it's an important story to tell. And uh, there's depth and delicacy. And, uh, and we also had a sense that it might be a universal story. And, uh, mm. But to be honest, we started out as a rather small German show, you know, mm. uh, and... Uh, by the time um, all the festivals were canceled, we didn't have a chance for a physical premiere. We were kind of devastated because we thought maybe we don't have a single international press review. You know, mm. we wow. weren't expecting this at all, at all. Yeah, it was overwhelming seeing the show traveling the world and uh, getting so much echo and so much love and uh, and understanding that it spreads warmth and uh, people from all kind of cultures and religious backgrounds and non-religious backgrounds really responded mm -hmm. so warmly to it. It's, it's still incredible for all of us. Mm -hmm. Well, Maria, look, you've done something that I don't know if you expected to do, but you planted this seed in us that now craves to learn more about Esty. Like we need more of Esty's story. So 
any potential for a second season? Anything you can tease with us? You know, of course, it's not only be me. It's here. I'm here with the creators, the writers, the producers informed captain of Netflix so this question is none I can I can answer myself <laughs> well, we, we've got you all assembled in a room right now together so maybe the green light can happen uh, tonight uh, but finally <laughs> is there anyone that you didn't get a chance to thank during that really touching thank you speech that you gave earlier this evening yes mm. I I would love to thank my family. I mm. didn't do that. And here's my partner right at my side. Mm. And uh, I thank my two sisters. I thank my partner. I thank my daughter to um, be with me and to be who they are. Oh, wow. Well, we thank you, Maria. Thank you. And thank you to Maria's oh, family as well, you. because we know she needed you in order to, to, to be able to pour all of her into this property, into this project. Thank you so much. And have a fantastic rest of your victory night. <laughs> thank you, Albert. It's already <laughs> past 4 a.m. in Berlin. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, have a good breakfast As you know, us. Berlin, the night just started. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Albert. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>